Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be doing another video, as always. But this time it's a bit special model and classic model, a classic Ferrari model, the one quite famous model of Ferrari, the Ferrari 250 GTO. So I have three different models for this over here as you can see this one is from Kershaw this one is from CMC and this one again is from Kershaw but they all are different in all aspects especially the Kershaw one this one and this one which I will be doing a video soon and comparing the difference I mean they have a lot of difference I mean for a normal Ferrari lover I mean it's not obvious yeah a normal person will always say that it's just a same model but no it's not the same model the specification is different in every model but today we have this one the Ferrari 250 GDO by CMC I really wanted to do a full review of this model and uh, so today I thought why not do a classic model because it was a quite long time that I have done any classic review classic model review so Today it will be the day of Ferrari 250 GTO. So stick stick to the video and uh, enjoy the content of the video of the Ferrari 250 GTO. So here we are, the Ferrari 250 GTO. It's by CMC. Very well made and very detailed model i mean just I mean, you can say it's just the second miniature of the original car which uh, cmc has produced and they are, they have been producing very cool models in their past and even now as well and specifically ferrari models so when it, this model came out i mean i really wanted to grab my hands on this model though i already had two models from kirsho but uh, CMC they play a very really good role in making diecast models accurately and uh, perfectly. So I have almost all the Ferrari uh, diecast models from CMC, but not the latest ones. I mean I'm talking about the cars, not the trucks or something like that. But uh, this one was uh, on the top of the hinge, and uh, I really wanted to do a review. So as you can guys see, I mean, don't panic, I mean, these are the uh, leather straps which do come in the original car. I have unstrapped them to open the uh, bonnet to show you guys the engine, how detailed that engine is and everything. But starting from the front, as you can see, the typical 5, uh, 250 GTO look, even the light cover as well, the lights on the side, uh, elevator lights, they are very well placed and made. The quality is just like, I mean, and the best part is giving it the look of that classic era. I mean, the era in which this car was built. I mean, CMC has done a very great job by uh, replicating this model in that era. So, yeah, even the wheels as well. I mean, you can see the spokes in the wheels are made of steel or aluminium but they are not plastic that's for sure and secondly the wheel do come off I and mean, you have to remove the wheel and just like the original car you have to remove this lever and the wheels, wheels are uh, take off and I mean, they can be moved from the car and talking about the front I mean this portion over here does open the it needs a special tool, so I'm not... Uh, it is there, but it's in the box, in the original box of this car. So, I don't want to play with that. And uh, talking about the front wheel monogram as well, very perfectly done. No paint bruises or something like that. And uh, it has the two fins. Normally, the GTO came with two fins and it has three fins as well. The one I have the other one. It has three fins over here on the side, on the fender, and then a fin over here as well. And you can see that the fin 
uh, type of uh, no and the most attractive part um, in these models the CMC models is that they, everything is functional like the vipers they can be standard up like that and um, so many other things I mean, I'll show you um, the windows they work the door windows and you can move them back for as well I hope I don't bring it yeah it has a one side mirror that is also not plastic and the fuel cap do work yes it opens and you can see fuel cap also works this is the best part of CNC models and you can see from the bag I mean four exhaust tips and the lights as well uh, side indicator, the brake light and the indicator everything is perfectly made on this model and this is glass material on a hard plastic material on the windows so yeah small small details which is very I mean these things do open I think because there is a hinge over here but they need a special tool which is in the box which I never got it out but nevertheless it's one of its kind so moving further let me show you from the underneath you can see the detail how it is made and it is so accurately made and the craftsmanship involved in making this model is excellent from CNC I mean at the back there's a fuel tank, then the wheels, the suspension, everything, even the filters are visible in it. And the underneath shield over here, then the engine bay, the exhaust pipes and everything. It's perfectly made. And it's amazing. And the strain wheels do work. We'll talk about the interior in a while, but uh, before that, I mean, I wanted to show you from the back. I, I wanted to show you the exterior so let's open the bonnet and show you guys the engine which is the best part of this model so here we are let me turn it back there to give you a visual so it's amazingly made um, you guys can see um, the camera is doing the gestures and all I don't know but everything is well made in this model perfectly made I hope it comes out um, you can drop the engine down on him somewhere and the bonnet it's black from inside and it stands still and everything is there these are the <coughs> carburetors probably and underneath everything is perfect and you can see the filters as well all the wiring and everything is perfectly made and giving it an original look which is very amazing so let's close the bonnet and let's open the trunk first so after that we'll discuss the engine and uh, interior so we have an extra spare tire in the trunk and a big Underneath that is the gas tank where, we, uh, where the fuel is injected in. So yeah, this is it. And the tire is movable. So yes, we can. Yeah, we can, but we have to fight for it. But so let it be like that. And there is a fire extinguisher in uh, over here as well. Fire extinguisher. Yeah. Please don't mind my English a little bit because I'm not a frequent English speaker. Yeah, that's it. So it has a rolling cage as well as you can see from the back. It contains a rolling cage as well. And this all is giving an aluminium effect. I don't know, it's 
it is aluminium or not, but it is giving an aluminium effect. So let me open the door. Now you can see the interior, how perfectly the steering and every details are made in this car. Even the side panel of the door, the over here as well, the seats are made of fabric. It's a fabric, leather and fabric is used in making of the seats. Even the dashboard is covered with all leather, the black leather over here giving an effect and in the center there is a very novel and everything and I love the steering the way they, they have made the steering just like original and all the meters as well on the behind you can see they are perfectly made talking from here give you a better look from here You can see the seats in blue color, I really love the seats and the color, really perfect and the seat belts as well, really a cool model. Yeah. And the uh, whole cube of the, I mean the body, I mean you can see it's all silver. And, um, Probably it's aluminium, giving it an uh, aluminium effect or something like that. At that age, um, the age of this car, I mean, at that age, um, these kind of things were used more upward and more in uh, um, more cars. And not like the, uh, today's, um, like today we use, I mean, the car makers use carbon fiber cars and everything, but in this car it was not carbon fiber cars probably aluminium or something like that yeah so yeah this is the model it's one of its kind and uh, one to have i mean it was when it was released i mean it was you know, on the I mean, retail price was on the retail and i mean by the cnc but now i mean it's discontinued from cnc so it's quite heavily priced and few colors were made in this model i mean silver red black I think blue as well. These are the main colors which came through my eyes and I mean, went through my eyes, I mean, which I saw on the internet and everything. And so red was the perfect color for this model to have in the collection. The guys who have this model already in the collection, they know the value of this model and the quality of this model. And the ones who don't have it, they should I mean, try to have a look on these models. They are really perfect models to be in the collection for a serious Ferrari collector. I mean, these models are for the serious Ferrari collector, I suppose. And they are very accurately made and I love these models. I have several more. I will be doing a review on those as well, full review. Uh, this was the first one in the classic era for the Ferrari models. So yeah. Guys, do let me know about this model and uh, I'll do a review for this model and the uh, one I have in Kyosho and differentiate between both of these, the quality and the uh, uh, craftsmanship done in both of the models. So, yeah, and the price variation in both of the models, I'll do that in the next video. So, till the next video, please do subscribe and enjoy the video. Till then, take care, goodbye.